Well, the time has come. I am going to do, or I guess I am doing, the engine swap on the Roper 18T Hydro. As you can see, the Onan is already out. That's sitting right there. This is actually going to go into my 78 GT18. Right there. Because the engine does run and there's nothing wrong with it. I just wanted something a little bit more reliable for this, something a little bit more efficient. And of course back to the reliable thing, just easy to start, just cr crank the key or just crank it over and it just starts immediately without having to even think about it. Since the hydro release is stuck too, that doesn't work. So if you were to, like if it were to just stall for no reason, because that's what it does, like in the middle of the backyard, you just have to leave it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the engine in there and uh, get the holes kind of drilled up. Oh yeah. And the other thing I'm also going to do is put an electric fuel pump on there, which I have on order. They just need to show up. And then a car alternator because the charging system on these suck. They're basically good for nothing, so you have to use an alternator. And I have a car alternator laying around, so I'm going to put that on there. So I'm going to get some stuff done and then come back. Alright, so I got the engine installed. I already took it for a little drive. And uh, it works pretty good. However, still not done yet, as you can see. So what I'm in the process of doing is, I'm not sure if I showed in the, showed in the last clip, but I'm going to put this stack on it because this is going to be better than the original exhaust and it's not going to melt the sticker on the front so I'm thinking on something like that so I wanted to wanted this to stay so it's going to go something like that I wanted this to stay original looking but I don't know. I mean, I can always take it back off if it looks kind of dumb, so. I just, I'm just trying to decide if I actually want the stack on here or not. Or maybe another option would be is to just take the original muffler that's really hot because I just was running it and turn it sideways and have the exhaust just come out this way. Maybe I'm going to see if I can do that first. This looks like a bolt pattern that I can't turn it, but I'm going to try anyway. So I think I'm going to try that first. This uh, metal housing might have to come off of the muffler in order to do that, but that might be better than the stack. Because I'm just not sure how something like that would be on a tractor that... I want this to look original as possible because I'm going to put the covers back on here. Um, of course it's got this cover. I don't really want a big stack hanging off because it's not, not original. It's already kind of modified enough. Um, one other thing I did do is uh, it's kind of unfortunate. I had to weld on an uh, extension on the frame because the air filter is actually hitting right here so and I wasn't about to do what a lot of people would do is to cut the grill out but I can't do that so I just move the engine back and then of course I use the original pulley so if I put a mower deck on here run any attachments or anything it'll just line up work fine all right so I'm gonna get some more done and then come back so as you can see I got, just got the engine installed well, I guess I did leave the fuel pump running, but as you can see, the fuel pump sucks fuel up from the tank just like it would stock. So it sucks it up through this tube, brings it around here, goes to the carburetor, and then there's another line that goes back down into the very back of the tank, and I'm going to put some glue around here. Uh, the lights do work. Uh, there's because these engines don't come with a key switch that has an ignition so when you turn it on the lights work so you have 
a, this ignition switch, which there was already a hole here, and then you can turn the lights on. So if this ignition switch is off, you can't turn the lights on. And this here ignition switch also runs that fuel pump. And instead of doing the alternator, I just went ahead and installed two of the original stators instead of just one. And then one more thing I'll probably end up doing is putting a choke on there that's longer and long enough to reach over here. So then that way I don't have to reach way down over here to pull the choke because you have to choke it every single time to time you start it. And then of course I skipped the stack and instead went with a Predator 420 exhaust because it was much slimmer so that it wasn't quite as big as this air filter. And then of course that just angles down so it doesn't uh, blow hot into that sticker. Otherwise, uh, pulley cover, I had to get a little inventive with a bunch of spacers there. And that just put a bolt through the fuel tank bracket. And then down here, once again, kind of got inventive with spacers. Spaced it out. The pulley guide doesn't actually work. But as you can see, the belt is nowhere near where the guide is. It's just something to hold this pulley cover so it all looks original. And then this plate here that I actually made in the beginning because it was missing when I got it. I just had to trim a little around here. And I'll probably end up throwing some paint on there eventually. So that, because it went straight down and of course that won't fit because the whole thing pulley is in the way. Um, other than that, that's about, that's about it as far as that goes. So I think it's time to start it and go for a little test drive. Again, I already drove it, but... And of course it's a predator, so you have to choke it. There you go. Thanks for watching.